it's very devastating. Uh, there's no words that can that can make anything any better. Tragedy in a small Indiana town as a deadly house fire swept through a home, killing a mother and two small children. A total of 11 people were inside when that fire started last night. And this all happened in the small town of Brazil in Clay County. Those killed include 18-year-old Raven Tedder, her four-month-old daughter Zoe Tedder, and Raven's four-year-old brother Shiloh Stewart. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker tells us what may have caused that fire and what family members are saying about the loved ones that did not make it out. Well, Ann and John, you can see this is a very busy scene here tonight. Crews working on cutting the trees down around this home. Brazil's fire chief says the damage was so bad here that they will be lucky to determine what started this fire. We do know, though, according to the chief, that this house did not have any gas, and the family was using kerosene and electric heaters to heat the home. It's the first fatal fire Brazil has had in more than 30 years. And residents here are devastated to learn a mother, her four-month-old daughter, and another four-year-old boy died in this home, trapped in an upstairs room. I understand God needs them at home, whether we do on this earth. And the people that are still here are the only ones that suffer. The tears fell Tuesday from Brazil residents thinking about a family's loss and how the victims, 18, four years, and four months, died. But I know these people in this fire suffered tremendously, and I could not fathom what any of them people went through. One neighbor helped pull four people out using a ladder. I couldn't go in there because the flame was just totally engulfed. Other neighbors saw the smoke and heard the sirens. First thing you do is run out. All you could hear was screaming. Fire crews say the fire was so out of control when they got there, they could barely search for those still inside. But they tried. It's terrible. Yeah, it's tragic. Uh, it's tragic for this family, and you know my, you know the guys are, the fire department taking it pretty hard because they, you know, did the best they could, and it was still uh, not the outcome you want. And nothing can change it now. Nothing's going to make it any better. And a six-year-old boy who was also inside the home was taken to a local hospital for breathing issues associated with the fire. The fire chief says his injuries are not life-threatening. And at this point, fire investigators do not know if this home had any working smoke detectors. Ann.